Hey everyone and welcome back. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today I have another quick and easy jewelry making project for you that incorporates bead soup. So what that is, if you don't know, that is when you have leftover beads from different projects, not enough to store and put away. Sometimes things end up mixed together. Sometimes you take apart projects. All of those things can make up bead soup. And you see my box sitting here in the corner and you may have something similar in a box or a jar or somewhere in your crafting area, especially if you make a lot of jewelry. But what might look like a jumbled mess actually could turn into some wearable art. So don't get rid of your bead soup just keep collecting it in a container because this is just one way that you can use a mixture of beads and put them into a cohesive project without them going to waste. And what I love is that it takes a small amount of beads and just two of these stainless steel hoop earring findings. You can find these at BB Craft. I will link them right down below the video. And I also have a coupon code, it's OPAL5, that will save you $5 off your purchase of $40 or more from BB Craft. And they offer free shipping anywhere in the world for orders over $25. Just allow yourself a couple weeks for delivery. So for a little over five bucks, you can get about 50 of these hoops. So essentially you could make 25 pairs of earrings. I just recently sat down with this container of bead soup that I've been building up over time and randomly put together these four pair of earrings just within about 15 minutes. So a couple of tricks for you if you want to put together some earrings with beads that otherwise would seem like scrap. One idea is to pull together light colors. So you see with the yellow and the blue pair, for example, that was more about going with a consistent color scheme. So not necessarily having to match, although the blue ones I was fortunate enough to have enough to pull from the big box over there to match, but they would still go well even if you're just trying to pull from the same color scheme. You can see the yellow ones do not match exactly, although they do contain some of the same types of beads. You can also go with similar shapes. So for example, the purple ones, you can pull out any of your disc-shaped beads, try to pull those together. You can also simply do seed beads and do a random mix of colors. You can see these striped seed beads I have there on the earrings on the end, and I did not string them in any specific order, but they still go really well together and make a quick and easy and kind of bohemian looking project. So here's a look at these hoop earring findings up close. And what I love about them is sure, you could make something similar out of your own wire, but these are number one, stainless steel, which is great for allergies and also anti-tarnish. And also they are formed into that perfect circle with a loop on the top and just kind of like memory wire, they will easily keep their shape. So to put these on, all you have to do is simply untuck the end that is bent at a 90 degree angle from the loop. And then the only other thing you'll need besides your beads is a pair of flat nose pliers or some other pair of pliers where you're just gonna grab onto that end of the wire and you're just gonna gently bend that down and press that down so that it is straight enough to where you can add your beads onto the earring finding. Once you've gotten those two earring hoops ready to go, then you can look through your mix of beads. And of course, you don't have to do this just with bead soup. You can, of course, pick and choose carefully what you want to put on your hoop earrings, and those would look beautiful too. But anytime I have a project where I can use a small amount of scrap or leftover beads, I'm really happy to do that and share with you to hopefully help out some fellow beaters. So I'm just thinking on a whim, let's go ahead and make some green earrings and I'm gonna randomly select some small green beads, start laying them out onto the mat and we can see what comes out of this. Now, the only thing you wanna keep in mind about how many beads you string on here is leave a little bit of room, like don't go any further than say a half an inch on either side to allow room to actually put these earrings on so that they're comfortable. So let's go ahead and dig around in here and see what kind of green beads we can find that would make a cohesive, but not necessarily matching pair of earrings.
All right, so now I have a pile of random green beads all in similar shades. And what I would do at this point is just try to pick out anything that I have like more than one of. So right away I'm seeing a good amount of these striped beads. I'm gonna pull those together. I just happen to have multiples of those and some of these light green round ones. Some leaves over here. These kind of go together. I've got some of these bicone shaped ones. Some cubes. All right, so I've identified some matches. I actually have a lot more matches than I thought. So what we can do, and again, this does not have to match up perfectly, but you could start laying out some of your beads. Like I have a bunch of these striped ones, so maybe I'll put two of these on each earring. These are pretty similar. One's a little darker than the other, but we could do like one leaf hanging off the bottom of each one. So we could try that. And I'm just kind of building them up from the center out for each earring. What else do we have? These cubes are kind of interesting. I just have three of those. Nope. Here's another one. That worked out. So I'll put those there maybe. And I think I like this striped one a little bit more. And we could even leave it at that. I pulled out way more than I really needed. Or we could build it up just a little bit more since we have the beads. So I'll pull some of these rounds. I like doing some of the larger ones down toward the bottom of the earring. Sometimes that looks nice. So I've got my beads laid out now for both earrings, and I just happen to have a lot of coordinating green beads, so it worked out that these would kind of match more, but I had no idea all this was in that box of randomness. And I think you might be surprised what you're able to put together if you also have a container of bead soup. All right, so I have one earring done, and I'm gonna do the other one with you. So just starting from one end of the beads to the other, starting with a small round, and then I went to a cube, and then a striped bead. You're just stringing these down, and then we can add our leaf, the other striped bead, cube, and our last round. And then I'm gonna leave the rest of the earring open. Then what you'll do is you'll bring back your flat nose pliers or your other pliers you want to use. Grip the end right to the side of where you had bent these before and just bend that back up at its original angle. And your earring is complete. How quick and easy is that and other tip for you these can also be used for wine charms if you want to make beaded wine charms to identify different people's glasses you can do all different colors and of course you use bead soup for those too all right everyone so thank you so much for being with me for this very quick and easy project tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and maybe it gave you some ideas for your own personal jewelry making and helped you put some of your bead soup to work once again i will leave the products down below that i'm using those earring hoops pliers and everything you need can be found at bb craft and i will leave the coupon code down below as well that of course is opal5 which will save you five dollars off 40 or more and you'll get free shipping on your order over $25. Just imagine how many earrings could be made with that box of bead soup that I have back there. These are just some examples, but I hope you have fun putting similar colors or shapes together or any combination you choose. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what other ways you like to use bead soup or anything else you'd like to say. You can give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd greatly appreciate that and definitely subscribe while you're here because I'd love to have you back. And don't forget to share with your other bead-loving friends. I'll be back again real soon, but until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading. <music>